Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today we are going to understand this high-low method, a cost estimation technique that we have in cost accounting. And the first thing that you need to know about this is that when are we going to use this technique? So see, it's very simple. We use this high-low method when we need to find out how much of a total cost is fixed and how much of a total cost is variable. Because you all know that total cost is made up of what? It's made up of fixed cost and variable. And here our main objective in high-low method in this technique is to find out how much of a total cost is fixed and variable. So basically, we are just splitting the total cost. For example, let's say total cost is $100. So we are just splitting that $100 into what? Into fixed cost, into variable cost. With what? With this high-low method, okay? So now let's just revise what's fixed cost and variable cost. So see, fixed cost is the cost that is constant at all levels of production. For example, rent of the factory. No matter how much you produce in your factory, the rent of the factory is always going to remain the same. Yeah, that's fixed cost. And variable cost is the cost that changes with the level of production. For example, cost of material. If you produce more in your factory, then of course, cost of material would be high. If you produce less, then cost of material would be less. Yeah. That's what happens with the variable cost. It directly varies, yeah, it changes with the level of output. Is that clear? So what do we do with the high-low method? We just calculate how much of the total cost is fixed and how much of the total cost is variable. We are just splitting the total cost into fixed cost and variable cost. Is that clear? Now let's understand the calculation part and how are we going to do this in the exam with this example. Now see the example over here. From the limited data, calculate how much would it cost us to produce 350 units. Now here we have been given this limited information, number of units to be produced and their respective cost. If we produce 100 units, it would cost us $400. If we produce 80 units, it would cost us $360. 300 units, $800. 200 units, $600. Okay, and with this information, we are expected to calculate how much would it cost to produce 350 units. Now tell me, how are we going to do this? Can we just directly divide the cost per units and get some cost per unit and multiply that by 350? Can we do that? See, can we take 400 this cost divided by 100? We are getting some cost per unit, we can say, and multiply that by 350 and say 1400 is our, you know, the cost of producing this 350. Can we do that? No, this is entirely incorrect. Why is that? Because, see, understand properly. Let's see another one. 800 cost, yeah, this one. 800 cost divided by 300 units. That's equal to what? 2.667. It's different. How is it different? It's entirely incorrect. You cannot do that. You cannot take this entire total cost, divide by units and get some cost per unit multiplied by 350. You cannot do that. Why? Because this is total cost. So this $400 is the total cost of producing these 100 units. So in this total cost, there is fixed cost as well as variable. So when you divide, what's happening? Fixed cost is also getting divided, right? And that cost per unit is entirely wrong because fixed cost is constant at all levels of production. It doesn't change. And variable cost, it changes with the level of production. So you cannot divide the fixed cost by the number of units, right? So that's why we can't go for this approach. We have to go with the different approach and that different approach is the high-low method. Now in high-low method, what will happen is, let's understand that step by step, okay? The first step is you have to select two extreme data, the highest activity level and the lowest activity level based on the units. What's the first step? The first step is selecting two extreme values, highest and the lowest activity level data. So see here, step one, choose highest and lowest level of activities. What's the highest level of activity over here? Not the cost, I'm talking about activity, the production. That's 300 units, this data, right? Not the cost, okay? The units you have to see. So 300 and the cost on 800, that's the highest activity level data. So highest is 300 units and the cost of producing that, that's $800. And the lowest activity level based on units is 80 units and the cost of producing that is 360. Yes, highest and lowest. Now the first step is over. We have chosen the highest and lowest activity level 
and then in this step only what you have to do you have to calculate variable cost per unit you have to calculate variable cost per unit but now how are we going to calculate variable cost per unit can we just take that you know 360 and divide by 80 can we do that no we can't do that why because in that 360 in that 360 and in this 800 cost also there is fixed cost there is fixed cost and that fixed cost is constant it is same at all levels of production so you all know that in this 800 also there is some fixed cost and in this 360 also there is some fixed cost and which is same in both the cost isn't it so you have to eliminate that fixed cost you have to eliminate that fixed cost how are we going to eliminate that fixed cost just by subtracting those two if you subtract 800 minus 360 what happens what happens the same thing has been eliminated same thing which was there in 800 as well as 360 it has been eliminated fixed cost has been eliminated whatever that has come out after subtracting these two figures that's entirely variable cost that's entirely variable cost $440 is entirely variable cost now you have to understand that this $440 variable cost has been entirely caused by the difference in these two units in these two figures the highest activity level 300 and the lowest activity level is 80 yeah 300 minus 80 so when you subtract those two what are you getting you are getting the difference between these two levels that's 220 220 units the difference so this 440 variable cost has been entirely caused by this 220 units so you can easily calculate what's the variable cost per unit $440 divided by 220 quantity the units if you do that if you take 440 divided by 220 the units cost divided by units you are getting what variable cost per unit two dollars yeah why did we do this why did we take the difference and divided that because understand properly in these things there was fixed cost yeah fixed cost is there because these are the total cost you cannot directly divide that if you do that and it's entirely wrong fixed cost is getting divided by the quantity but fixed cost is not at all related with quantity you cannot do that so that's why fixed cost was eliminated you got the variable cost which is entirely caused by this difference of quantity so when you divided these two figures you got the true variable cost once you get the true variable cost let me just show you see here step 2 calculating the variable cost per unit $440 divided by 220 units we got we got $2 per unit right $2 per unit is that clear fine once you get that then the step 3 is calculating the fixed cost you have calculated till now what you have just calculated variable cost per unit not the entire variable cost per unit okay so how are we going to calculate the fixed cost what's the formula of fixed cost understand it's very simple total cost is made up of fixed cost and variable cost so if we need to find out the fixed cost then what do we need we need variable cost the total one and we need the total mixed cost yeah we need these two things we can easily find out the fixed cost can we find out the variable cost of course we can we have variable cost per unit yeah so if we just multiply that by this 300 or this 80 what we'll get we'll get the entire variable cost of that data right so see what are we going to do we are going to first choose any level of activity highest or lowest yeah highest or lowest not these data highest or lowest yeah so let's say we have i have chosen over here highest level that's 300 units this data yeah at 300 units what's the total cost total cost is 800 dollars we have the total cost 800 dollars okay so total cost is 800 dollars and what's the variable cost we can calculate that variable cost because we have variable cost per unit that's two dollar per unit so two dollar into 300 units we will get the total variable cost 300 quantity 300 units at highest level into two dollars that's equal to what six hundred dollars total variable cost variable cost once we have the variable cost and the total cost easily we can find out the fixed cost easily we can do that yeah total cost is the 800 minus variable cost 600 
that's equal to 200 fixed cost yeah and you all know fixed cost will always remain the same it will never change yeah at 100 units at 80 units at 300 units at 200 units at 350 units at all levels of quantity fixed cost is always it's always $200 so easily we can find out what it would cost to produce 350 units isn't it because we have variable cost per unit that's two dollar per unit so if we take two dollar into 350 see here if we take 350 units into two dollars yeah variable cost per unit what do we get we get the variable cost of 350 units total variable cost for 350 units and if we subtract not subtract sorry add the fixed cost of 200 dollars which is constant at all levels of production, yeah? So at 350 also, what would be the fixed cost? 200 only. So plus 200, what do we get? 900. That's the total cost, total cost of producing 350 units. See here, let me just show you the calculation properly. See here, cost of 350 units. Yeah, this is the total cost of that units is made up of variable cost and fixed cost. Fixed cost, we all know that's $200. We calculated that and variable cost, we can easily calculate because we have variable cost per unit. That's $2 per unit. So 350 quantity into $2, that's equal to $700. So 200 plus 700, that's equal to $900 because we all know total cost is made up of fixed cost and variable cost. Is that clear? So this is what high-low method is. How do we do it? It's very simple. Let's just revise it fast. What do we do? We just first select two extreme set of values, highest and lowest, based upon the quantity of the units, based upon the units, not on the cost. So 80 here and 300, lowest and highest. And then what do we do? We eliminate the fixed cost by taking the difference. When we take the difference, what happens from the cost, fixed cost gets eliminated because here also there is fixed cost, here also there is fixed cost. When we eliminate that, that fixed cost gets eliminated and only variable cost is left. So when you have the pure variable cost divided by this difference quantity, you get variable cost per unit. After getting variable cost per unit, what you can do? You can choose either highest activity level data or lowest activity level data because this entire calculation has been done upon that. That's why you cannot use this quantity or right, this data. You can only use this data and I have chosen over here the highest level you take the total cost and calculate the variable cost of that highest level only, not that 350, of that highest level only, 300 quantity into $2, yeah, variable cost per unit. You get the total variable cost and then subtract these two, you get the fixed cost. You get the fixed cost. Once you get the fixed cost, you know fixed cost is always constant at all levels of output, 350, 100, 500, anything. If you want to find out the cost of 500 units, it's not there over here. So 500 into variable cost per unit, $2. That's equal to $1,000. This is the total variable cost, total variable cost plus 200 fixed cost, which is constant at all levels of output. If you add that, then 1,200, 1,200 would be the total cost of producing 500 units. Yeah, like that. So whatever quantity you have, you can calculate what's the cost of producing that. Is that clear? Now, I'm just going to show you the formula of high-low method because in the books and all, they will have a proper full-fledged formula. The formula is nothing simple. This thing only. See here, high-low method. In high-low method, what the formula is, if the formula is about variable cost per unit, yeah, highest activity cost minus lowest activity cost divided by highest activity units minus lowest activity units. Now I have done this here. See here, the same thing I have done. Here I have the cost, here I have the units, highest and lowest. I'm taking a difference, right? So the same thing you have to do in the formula also. See here, 800 minus 360, 800 minus 360. On the top side, you're taking the cost divided by the units. Yeah, so here, see, 300 minus 80, 300 minus 80, that's the unit, highest, lowest. Subtract that, what do you get? You get 440 divided by 220, isn't it? 440 divided by 220, the difference. 440 divided by 220 and the answer is two dollars per unit right so with the formula also the same thing you're doing over here yeah with the formula directly you're reaching it over here 
But to make you understand the logic and everything, why are we taking difference? In the formula, you will not understand why are we taking the difference. Here, you can understand properly, we are taking the difference with the extreme values because we want to eliminate the fixed cost. Then only we will have pure variable cost divided by the quantity, we will get the pure variable cost per unit. Yeah, here also fixed cost is there, here also fixed cost is there and those amounts are same. $200 is there, $200 is there over here. Yeah, but we'll come to know about that $200 or whatever the fixed cost is at last. Yeah, so this is what high-low method is, as simple as that. So that's it for this video. See you in the next video. Yeah, bye.